Hello everyone, my name is Alex Rintiff, I'm an Office Dev MVP and uh, Microsoft 365 PNP team member. And uh, this demo is about uh, PNP reusable React controls and uh, how we can use uh, field render helper uh, utility in your uh, field customizers. So uh, in our uh, React controls library, we have a bunch of field controls. You can get to them through uh, top navigation. So if you click on field controls, you'll see like a bunch of them for different types of um, uh, share point columns. And uh, these controls are actually help you to uh, render the uh, components, render your field customizers, similarly to out of the box behavior with ability to provide additional styling, additional uh, CSS or classes. Uh, uh, but today, what I want to talk about is about this field renderer helper class that additionally allows you to automatically select one of those components based on the current um, type of SharePoint uh, column. Uh, what it uh, why it is beneficial because basically you can uh, create one uh, field customizer and apply it to any type of uh, SharePoint call. So for example, here uh, I have a demo list where I have multiple different columns. So I have a date, I have a uh, multi lookup, I have some choice picture and so on and so forth. And basically if you want to modify uh, each and every column in this list, you would probably need to create different uh, field customizer for date, uh, different field customizer for uh, for lookup, and so on and so forth. But uh, using this uh, renderer helper, you can create the only field customizer and use it for any call. So let me show you a little bit of code. So it's pretty uh, sorry, pretty easy. Uh, so I have my field customizer here, uh, which is a little bit uh, modified from initial one. We have some additional properties uh, uh, that are passed to our components. So uh, I'm passing uh, list item accessor from our event on render cell, uh, field value from the event, and also some additional CSS properties that will be used. In our React component, in our field uh, customizer React component, uh, what I am actually doing in component did mount, I am getting the field renderer uh, based on list item accessor and uh, current field value. So basically, the magic here is that inside the uh, field renderer, this uh, helper class, it will go through the list item accessor, uh, look at the current field, look at this type. It will grab the uh, proper control for this type of the column, and it also modify if needed the value of this uh, uh, cell in this field in this field to correctly display it on the page. So, for example, for the text uh, uh, column, we just need to display the text that we got from the uh, field customizer. But for example, for lookup, we will have a JSON uh, object that we need to parse and correctly display it with a uh, value and lookup ID as well. So let me actually grab the URL, debug URL for this example here and I'll just apply it to this list and uh, what we want to do first let's uh, change the uh, behavior of uh, journey date so instead of uh, this one I will put journey date and let's refresh to see that debug is working okay here it is. So as you can see, it's basically almost the same uh, UI as it was for out of the box behavior. The only difference that we have some uh, styles applied that we provided from our field customizer. We can do the same for uh, visited countries, for example, which is a, a multi lookup. And here we go again. First of all, the style is applied, but also we still have the functionality as in out of the box behavior. So if I click on uh, the value, uh, you will see the pop up with the uh, kind of uh, value from the uh, looked up uh, list. 
Same here, even if it's multi-value, we still can click on it and um, see the value for the, for the uh, looked up uh, column. So basically, that's pretty easy as uh, you can see from the code perspective. It's not so much. We just need to uh, get the uh, render in component did mount. And then in our field, in our render method, we are just providing this field render and basically nothing else. And again, this will work for any type of SharePoint uh, column. And it allows you to provide uh, additional CSS uh, properties and uh, class names. So basically, Basically, if in your scenario, you just need to provide additional styling to out-of-the-box behavior of your SharePoint columns, uh, it's probably the best and the easiest way for you to go and implement the functionality. And that's pretty it from my end. It's pretty easy and simple. Back to you, Patrick. Very cool. Thank you for that demo. Great to see that. And it might be considered simple, but I think a very clean and functional demo, which is really nice to see uh, you know, exactly how stuff like that works. So thank you very much to Alex.